Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the Asian boys. I talked about the Asian boys in a previous episode with the war with the Tiny Rascals, aka TRG. But I'm going to go back to the Asian boys and give you a little recap of their history and some new cases. The first Asian boy set was formed in Long Beach in the late 80s. Many of the first members were immigrants from Southeast Asia. The founders were originally Cambodian refugees who were being harassed by the East Side Longos during the 80s. So they started a crew to protect themselves which they would become fierce rivals with the Longos and still are today. The Asian boys were once together with the TRGs, but that would later change with internal beef and problems between the two, causing the split, which would later turn into the two groups being mortal enemies, which is an on-site beef between the two to this day. The Asian boys would become one of the most prominent and respected Asian gangs, with a lot of members and also for putting in work. The Asian boys got really big with expanding outside of Long Beach to other cities nearby and even to cities in Northern California and also in other states. Some places in Cali outside of Long Beach that they are based in is Van Nuys, Fresno, Stockton, and several cities in Orange County. Then in various cities and places, Asian boys had different rivals in different cities. In Long Beach with the Asian boys being Crips, they get along with several Crips like the Suicidal Towns, the Zodic Family Crips, SOS, and the Insane Crips. But with that being said, let's get into some cases. November 27, 2003. Shannon lived in his apartment on Raven Avenue in Long Beach with his wife and his kids. Around midnight, two men from TRG knocked on Shannon's door. When Shannon opened the door, two TRG members forced their way in and put a strap to Shannon's head. Shannon pushed away, but then he was shot multiple times. The TRG members then ran away after Shannon's wife yelled she was calling the police. Shannon was shot around seven times, but he survived. On December 4th, 2003, Mike lived on Olive Avenue with his family and his son Wood, who was from Asian Boys, lived there as well. Their house would be sprayed with bullets, but no one would be shot. Weeks later, on December 19th, two TRG members were running to two Suicide Town members, Daniel and Thone, who lived in an apartment on Atlantic Avenue. In the alley, the two TRGs would ask Daniel and Thone where were they from, which they were rep Suicide Town. The TRG would lie and say they was from Insane Crip, which is an ally to the Asian Boys and the Suicide Towns. They would connect off that. The TRGs was game playing. They told Daniel and Thone that they would be back later with some tree and they can kick it with them. Later that night, Daniel was in the garage when he was approached by a TRG, leading to him being shot nine times, taking his life. A young TRG member was later questioned about several events, including all the shootings. At this point in the year, it had been over 25 shootings between the TRGs and their rivals, the Asian boys and the suicidal towns. A young TRG member would say Low Key from TRG got into an altercation with Wood from Asian boys at the mall and this would lead to several events happening. He would say that Wood called them roaches, a diss to TRG, and low-key yelled, I'ma catch you later, which he did. Joe from TRG was later picked up for being involved in all the shootings. He would talk to his mom on the jail phone, and she would tell him to stop killing people. His response was, I already stopped killing people, mom. He would even ask her did she get rid of the straps that he used in the shootings. Roe was later charged for all the shootings, and he received life. On November 5th, 2004, it was a crowd of people at Tapioca Express in Alhambra when a white Honda pulled up with multiple people in the car and yelled out, Where y'all from? This Van Nuys Asian boys. Several people in the crowd replied, Chinatown boys. Then three to five shots followed. A Chinatown boy named Edward was shot multiple times, but he survived. A Wai Chen member named Lucas was also shot multiple times. Edward would immediately start snitching. He picked Dat from Van Nuys Asian boys after the shooter. Edward and his family felt threatened after this. They told them they was going to lose their lives if they told on that. But that wasn't Dat's biggest problem. His own homie from his hood named Michael became a rat. Michael was picked up on a separate case and he started telling on that and the other Van Nuys Asian boys. With several witnesses also coming forth, Dat got life. On April 17th, 2005, the Wat Buddhist Temple hosted a Cambodian New Year festival. Around 9 p.m., a fight broke out in the parking lot between the Asian boys and the Oriental boys. During the fight, So from Asian boys put out a knife and stabbed David from Oriental boys multiple times, taking his life. Then he threw the knife over the fence, which was later found. So would plead self-defense, stating that the Asian boys were outnumbered, so he had to defend himself and he pleaded self-defense. So was still sentenced to 18 years to life. In 2005, Tang rode his bike to a store, went on the outside of the store, he was pressed by three Asian boys, one being Johnny who jumped him and told him he couldn't come back on their block. Tang went home and told his two older brothers what happened. Tang's older brothers was mad as hell. 
they grabbed a friend and went to the store to press the Asian boys. Once they seen him, the Asian boys started to run. Tang's brothers rode around looking for the Asian boys but couldn't catch them, so they got Tang's bike back and went home. Tang's brothers were chilling with multiple friends in front of their house when Johnny's cousin Mike pulled up and yelled, why y'all jump my cousin, and began firing at the crowd. He hit three people, but all survived. The shooter wouldn't be identified for years until several witnesses finally came forth and Mike was sentenced to 84 years to life. On the evening of January 20th, 2007, So had a birthday party for his girlfriend Maya on Downey Avenue. An uninvited guest named Baby C from Asian Boys came in the party and asked can he join the party. So agreed it was cool as long as he didn't invite anybody else. Baby C did the complete opposite. He called all his homies who later arrived. The group of Asian boys was denied entry, which made them mad, and they started getting aggressive. Baby C pulled out a strap and pointed at So's head. Then he said, you should have let my homies in the party. Then he fired three shots in the air, and Baby C then said, I'll be back, and he left with the other Asian boys. About an hour later, an Asian boy named David and two other Asian boys came back shooting. So's friend was shot 10 times, and So's little brother was shot twice. Both of them lost their lives. Several people would testify and pick David and two other shooters out. Their homes were later searched and the straps used in the shootings were found. All three men were later convicted. John was from Asian Boys. Him and four other Asian boys went to a club called Club Blue. They got into an altercation with a group of Mexicans and they would disrespect the Mexican race and start a fight with them. The fight got so bad, the security guards emptied the club. On the outside, John would be driving leaving the parking lot when he spotted the Mexican group. He tried to run them all over, just narrowly missing everyone in the crowd. The crowd of Mexicans started shooting and John started firing back. John and his crew would drive off, but would later be pulled over by police just a few blocks later. John ended up getting sentenced to 15 years. Around 7.30 p.m. on June 21st, 2011, security cameras attached to a house near the intersection of 14th Street and Dawson Avenue on Long Beach captured footage of a car driving through the neighborhood. The car would drive by and throw a white cup out the window. Moments later, the car returned up the block. You could see a hand extend from the passenger window and fire several shots at a man named Pablo who was riding his bike on the street next to the car. The police responded to the shooting and located the footage from the surveillance cameras. They found a white cup that was thrown out the window. Matthew from Asian Boy was later arrested on an unrelated charge and his DNA matched the cup. Matthew didn't talk to the police, but he was placed in a cell with another Asian boy named Barry and he told on himself. Barry and Matthew would start talking about their cases and Barry asked him was that his first body. Matthew responded, yeah. He even told Barry where the shooting happened and who was the driver. The driver was a dude named Knuckles. Matthew at trial said he didn't do the shooting and said it had to be Knuckles because it was Knuckles' car. Matthew would say what the police recorded inside the cell wasn't true and it wasn't even him saying it. Matthew would still get life for the shooting. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.